So gamers are losing their mind right now, and I guess rightfully so, because Sony has begun, like, censoring Stellar Blade, and people are calling them Soe, Ni, get it, Soya, and Ni, so Sony, that's what's going on. And, and apparently, Suggers are also sharing memes. Uh, Sony apparently don't love the Eve character, but they love the Abyzilla character, the, the Brock Lesnar looking dude, right, getting his cheeks clapped, ass pounded in 4K with the ray twitching, that's what they want. So, uh, we're gonna get right into it. We got a bunch of clips tonight, folks. I don't think you're ready for this one. Like the video if you want uncensored version of Stel Stellar Blade. Dislike the video if you want to see, like, Abby beat the living shies out of Brock Lesnar in real Bruh. life. If that's what you want. And emasculate Brock Lesnar in real life. Come on, man. Don't You don't want that, right? I don't want that. You don't want that. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you don't. Dislike the video if you want to see Abby-like characters in the video games, guys. But uh, let's get down to it. We are now. And the real problem here is Sony. That oh. is why people have been canceling their PlayStation Network oh subscriptions. I mean, look at all of these. The boycott is on, people. This is how you affect change. You gotta take money from the pocket of the people who are shitting in your cereal. If you Holy choose not to purchase crap. Stellar Blade, that's your decision. You do what you yeah. want, no judgment. But if you choose not to purchase it, the message that Sony will hear is that you don't want a game like Stellar Blade. Yeah. They'll Damn, like, and they might also see that you don't like the black wave though, but we must uh, stay focused, brothers. We must brothers. stay focused, brothers. We must stay Absolutely, focused. we must stay focused. So, so skin suit get one star rating, black wave get three. Uh, so three is the max, right? Think that you don't oh want God. attractive females in your games anymore. The activist journalists were correct. That is what Sony will hear, and they will yeah. try to do this sort of thing more often. They will think that the activist journalists were correct. But if we cancel our PlayStation Network subscriptions in large enough quantity, we might get their attention, and they maybe. might hear a very different message. Maybe. And then uh, uh, maybe you never know, right? Or the opposite message would be like, everybody loves the Ebby, the Brock Lesnar dude. You never know, man. Last of Us Three, bro. The, or not even Last of Us 3, but Stellar Blade 2? You never know, man. Abby Zilla might come from Last of Us 3 and kills the Eve, though. <laughs> that might happen. Or worse, or worse, or worse, they might delete her ponytail in the next patch. You never know, they might have, that might happen, too. There's also this petition here, which I want everyone who watches this video to take a minute out of your life and sign this, if you would, please. At the time of this recording, there was... Yo, honestly, bro, like, gamers, uh, one minute... In gamers life is like 10 years they all so i don't know if they would w would you sign the petition have you already signed the petition let me know man i'm near 15,000 signatures on this free stellar blade petition already i am including a link in the description for you so please oh, wow. get on there and sign oh, wow. it and also i am including the customer service email Wait address for, for shift up i would ask that you message them and let them know how you feel what the hell is wrong with you people? Remember to always be respectful when writing companies like this. They will ignore you if you swear and you're all kinds of rude. They will ignore you, so very politely explain that you don't care for censorship. This is how you get things done. Do not take the black pill, folks. Don't act like we can't win. I promise you that we can, but it requires that we act and that we do it intelligently. And yeah, to that end, yeah. Mark... In, in other words, don't be uh, a twat about it. Don't be a retweet about Bruh. it. Uh, I cannot say that retweet word in, like, perfect... I mean, I can, but, like, it's just, uh, you know, YouTube would hit it, and then it's like, yeah. So might as well not. So, Bruh. yeah, there's another censorship going on with YouTube. I mean, censorship's everywhere, bro. Like, what? Man, can a brother perhaps get, like, a non-censored YouTube and non-censored uh, Stellar Blade as well? Like the video if you agree. Dislike if you disagree, man. <laughs> Kern, the Don't former the team lead of the original WoW, laid out the steps we need to remove Stellar Blade's censorship. Yeah. He has been spearheading this movement. Here is his tweet. He said, yeah. the plan to get Stellar Blade censorship removed. Condensed version of pinned tweet. And, and apparently somebody put like $20,000 bounty on his, uh, his, his ass as well, right? I'll get to that in a second. Wait, Wait for it. Contact shift up offices, send physical mail as that carries more weight in Asia. And then he's listed the address there. Once again, if you send them any correspondence Correspondence, please be polite and respectful, but very direct and to the point. Be firm. Anyway, he also says email them, and he lists their email address, which I will have provided at the bottom of the description for this. Why do we have to do all this? Listen, I'm not against that. Obviously, I'm for no censoring of this game, right? Because when you have literally like bear action human to bear action in Baldur's Gate 3, apparently that's fine. Abby, Brock Lesnar looking dude getting his cheeks clapped, you know, ta 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 in 4K with ray twitching. What the hell is going on, bro? 
What the hell? It's like this game has an M rating on top. Why? Why does it need to be censored? And why does us have to do all of this crap? Why is it not enough to just say don't censor the game? You right? And I mean, I'm gonna go even as far as to say why even censor it? Why even <laughs> make gamers say that? Don't censor it. It's like Brent, that's a no-brainer. You don't censor a game. And, and on top, they... Who do you blame in this situation, right? I, I asked this question in the last video, and uh, most people were going with uh, Sony. Some were also going with uh, the dev. Mm, yeah, right? Who do you blame? Sony? Sony? Do you blame the dev team? Uh, Shift Up, right? Or do you blame both equally? Because Shift Up did say that mm, it's not gonna get censored in any country. Uh, magically get censored. Bruh. Right. The dev also responded. We had the interview and he answered the question. I, and I actually covered that in the last video. I'll link you that video in a second as well. But who do you blame realistically? Do you blame Shift Up? Do you blame Sony only? Do you blame both? Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of like tough, right? Because if you say you blame Sony, makes sense but then it's gonna be like okay well uh shift up made the game bro shift up made the game if you then go ahead and blame shift up for doing all of these because shift up made the changes don't get me wrong but the the reason why people are blaming sony is because the orders most probably came from sony makes total sense absolutely it looks like that the orders came from uh, sony themselves but the changes were made by shift up so in this case i guess you, you blame Sony because Shift Up, I, I would like to believe that they're just, they're an indie dev team, right? And they, they're not like as big as Naughty Dog. They're not a, like a super big studio like Santa Monica or Activision or whatever, right? They're not that big. And it would surely hurt them. And I also believe that like this game could have been on Xbox too. I, I only have PlayStation, I don't have Xbox. I have a good PC, but I'm a console peasant. I, I play on the console, man. I play, I'm a console peasant, right? Now, Xbox also don't have a good track record, don't get me wrong. Like, pick your poison. Do you want, like, this from Xbox, right? Bruh. Or, or do you want this from PlayStation? So, pick your poison, folks. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Like, this what the hell is going on? Cancel here? your PlayStation Network and tag PlayStation. Sign the petition. And once again, I will have a link to this petition in the video's description. Tag everything. Free Stellar Blade. I like it. Yeah, that's the way we do it, guys. People yeah. are canceling their PlayStation Network in droves and getting this petition signed. Crazy, this man. is how we get Sony's attention. And how? In a way, yeah, money talks. Bull squash walks. I do agree with that. Mm, yeah, yeah. But is it really going to make a dent? If everybody cancels it, Sony might be like, okay, well, uh, you know, they are only canceling it. We're going to wait for the expiration because there's that thing, right? Like, if you have bought it for an entire year and you cancel it, you're still going to, you know, you're going to have the subscription for X amount of time. And by the time it's going to end, most gamers will be like, oh, I got I got I got I gotta play online! I gotta play online, right? I gotta... Uh, give me my online! Give me my online! So they will just cave in and then they would bend the knee and just buy yeah. another... <laughs> another subscription. I have seen that happen time and time again. Older folks are more like, okay, I'm gonna boycott, I'm gonna boycott, okay? And most of the comments... And, and guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Maybe you're gonna hate me for saying that, but this is what I'm seeing right now. I've been looking at analytics all day and uh, checking and looking at the, the my comments and other people's comments on other videos as well. Most people... And this is no disrespect by any means, right? I'm 27. I'm an older dude, okay? I'm gonna be 28 soon. I'm pushing 30, bruh. I'm pushing 30, okay? Some of uh, the, the, the people... People that are saying that they're gonna boycott... And people that are gonna stick with it most probably and that do stick with their plans whether they're gonna buy or boycott in this case let's just say boycott people that say they're gonna boycott and that stick with it are older folks okay younger folks yeah bro like and, and most gamers are young by the way all right no disrespect to anybody but it's just that uh that's the observation i made uh, recently that the older you are uh, you're gonna stick with your guns and uh the younger you are you're like <laughs> oh well today i'm gonna stick with it tomorrow i ain't gonna i need that don't mean i need that don't mean so uh, that's uh what's going on right now but we'll see we'll see what happens but check this out the topic of conversation that is stemmed out of that is the various aspects of the game that have been censored now many bad actors on twitter whether it's regular users game journalists or content creators have been using this opportunity to not only justify but also celebrate these acts of censorship because it fulfills their own agendas and uh -huh. this has gotten to a very toxic point where now we are seeing literal bounties put on people's yeah. heads for men, men put a gta style bounty on grums <laughs> 
20 twenty thousand dollars to anyone USD or Jamaican Bumble Club? Where's the Bumble Club? My bad. Bumble, Bumble Club. Club. Jamaican Bumble Club or USD or Canadian or Australian? Because I'm not sure what kind of twenty thousand dollars you're talking about, bruh. Obviously, I'm joking around. So yeah, twenty thousand USD to anyone that makes this dip shies disappear. Folks, I, I don't know, man. It sounds like that he's sending a heaven proposal out right now, okay? This sounds like a heaven proposal, bro. Yeah, right? It does sound like that. It does sound like that. I'm not sure whether he means something else, but just reading at it, it sounds like that he's actually sending him a heaven proposal. For simply pointing out the censorship of Stellar Blade. This is how bad and un how unhinged all of this has truly gotten. Now, if you want the full details on what is actually being censored, you can check out my video from yesterday. Yeah. But to sum up the entire acts of censorship very quickly, there was a promise by Shift Up only days before release that this game would be released uncensored. However, quickly after it was released, we'd see graffiti censored out of the game, we would see blood get censored, Crazy. and we would even see the outfits <laughs> being censored. And to explain the confusion surrounding some of these various outfits... You got the unpatched disc? Yo, what if the dev was like, okay, you know what, Sony's asking me to censor the game? And I have to bend my knee because if I don't, they would not put my game on the PlayStation and then I lose uh, millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars rather, right? I'm not sure what was the budget of this game, but, but he's gonna lose money, let's just say, okay? So what if he was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do a thing where I'm gonna make sure, and people are having good reviews about the game. People are saying the story is not that good, but it's a Souls game, so story really don't matter in Souls-like game, that's what I'm hearing. Uh, it's 60 FPS, okay, 60 FPS. Game barely got any bugs, it plays smoothly, combat is very good, so reviews are very, very good for this game, and a lot of people are blown away simply, and no gamer should be blown away by this. This should be the bare minimum! We should be getting games full at launch, okay? Full content at launch, 60 FPS at launch, without any bugs at launch, or, you know, one or two bugs here and there, okay, whatever. But what I mean is that, like, most games nowadays are releasing, uh, in a, in a state where it's completely broken, right? It's 30 FPS, most games are struggling to hit 30 FPS, so a lot of people are like, wow, this game 60 FPS at launch, unpatched, and I don't even have to download day one patch? Crazy, crazy. So I'm thinking right now, what if the dev was like, okay, I'm gonna make sure I have the unpatched, uncensored version on the disc, that's gonna be my raw, my, my real uh, project, and people that buy it, they get to play it, and they can choose to not download the patch, or if you buy it digitally, I guess, then you have to download the patch and all that. But he has let a way out in a way. Do you, do you think he did that, he done that purposely or, or nah? It's, this is the uncensored release that was on the physical copy that was unpatched. However, there was a day one patch that censored this outfit. And the same patch was already installed on the digital reviewer's copy that was released about a week ago. So this okay. has been censored for quite some time. It was done at the last minute. And in fact, since then, we've seen other outfits be confirmed as censored as well and this is something that has been confirmed by the director yeah. of shift up himself yeah I, I covered that in the last video which i'll link in a second okay? and a lot of people have been critical of sony and the potential influence they had on the censorship and also the weird disparity between how they are censoring stellar blade versus other games that they publish that yeah, are crazy, much much bro. more uh obscene or just dark or like they mocap this you guys gotta understand that they mocap this <laughs> I, I remember I remember when the, uh, this scene was first uh, seen by mankind eyes, uh, human eyes, uh, everybody was, <laughs> I, it was crazy, PewDiePie reacted to it, he was disgusted, he was laughing, everybody was laughing, everybody was disgusted, truly disgusted by it, a and a lot of people were like, Neil self inserted, nobody wanted, why, why, okay, okay, well, you know what, 18 plus game, alright. This is also an 18 plus game. It doesn't have any of this like Easter egg action happening, at least uh, from my knowledge, I don't think it has. And if it has, it has. Not saying that needs to be censored. It's an 18 plus game, damn it. It's an 18 plus or 17 plus world. It's a 17 plus world. Yeah. Correction, correction. Yeah, my point exactly. It's a 17 plus game. So why censor it, bruh? Why censor it? Okay, if you're gonna censor this, then you shouldn't have done this either. Right? Okay, let's uh, let's just say this, right? Whoa, right? Whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's go ahead, censor this, all right? Oh. Guys, hold, hear me out, okay? Yeah, let's censor Stellar Blade completely. But also, let's go ahead and censor this too, right? Right? Let's let's censor this completely. What, what is Sexual, going on? what have you. 
Now, there's been many reactions to what's going on with this situation, and a lot of people are trying to fix it. There is a big push, including petitions like this that I'll link in the description. They're trying to get Shift Up and Sony to restore what they took away, to undo this censorship and restore what people were promised with these uncensored yep. releases. However, a lot of people, including some bad actors, have been trying to basically misrepresent what is going on and what people are actually complaining about. And what we're going to look at in this video, whether it's from game journalists, content creators, or Twitter users, is going to follow the narcissist prayer. Basically, you can see the evolution of someone trying to deflect blame, starting with, that didn't happen, and then ending with, well, it did happen, and you deserved it. Now, we've been seeing this first part for a while. That didn't happen. We've seen people for really months at this point say over and over again, there's no censorship of Stellar Blade, this isn't happening. Well, now we have confirmation that it is happening and people are readjusting and moving on to the next step saying, and if it did happen, well, it wasn't that bad. And they're accomplishing that by trying to intentionally misrepresent what people are complaining about. Yeah. So beginning with- yeah, Guys, I'll make it simple, okay? It's not about the hard art thing that was removed from the game. It's not really about the outfit. Although yeah, people don't want censorship, don't get me wrong. It's not necessarily about that. It is about that, but it's not necessarily about that. It's about the fact that game is getting censored. You promise it's not going to be censored. Obviously, there's a whole lot of woke agenda that's being pushed right now. It's a combination, multitudes of uh, things. And obviously, the hypocrisy is really real where you're going to have this, but you're not going to, uh, you don't want to have this. Stri you don't want to have game mates for hetero people, but you, you, you feel what I'm saying, right? I cannot say too much now, but 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 the, the the hypocrisy is just insane with it and the more you censor it the more they're gonna ask for you to censor it as well so it, it just doesn't stop they censor the hard art then they were like you gotta censor this they censor that they also censored the blood and gore part of the game meanwhile it's perfectly fine in different games but not in this one what 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 is going on bruh what is going on Alyssa, the kotaku editor here she says this this is about pubic bones. Imagine growing up and learning this is what your dad was doing rather than having a catch with you. And since Alyssa has daily tweets crying about elder male figures, we all know this is just projection right here, but she's trying to say this is about pubic bones that are being censored with these updated outfits. Here's another tweet saying, LOL, they're turning on Stellar Blade because they can't see her vagina. Here's another one saying the fact that the newest Stellar Blade talking point is that the usual crowd thinks removing the MC's camel toe is censorship should really tell you what their fixation has always been about. And down you can see some replies to that original thread where someone says this. The fact that you think Shay is saying no one is allowed to be horny and not that fix isn't censorship and the people complaining about the fix need to just admit that they want to be horny is very funny. These people are trying to claim that what's happening is not censorship when literally everything that's going on all the points we made earlier in the video fit the definition of censorship to a t now of course all these people are misrepresenting what people are actually mad about and what they're complaining about they were yeah. falsely advertised to okay they were yeah. promised this would be an uncensored release and now this game has been censored on multiple levels not just the outfits but other aspects of the game that none of these people are acknowledging and they are so desperate in their attempt to own the gamer chuds on twitter that they will literally celebrate and excuse acts of censorship it's like i'll make it simple right you go to a restaurant and, and you ask for like coca-cola let's just say right coca-cola right you ask for a can okay don't open it don't open it okay but guess what they opened it they drank from it and they they give you half of that can open mind you. yeah that that's that's what's going on now would you pay the full price for the coca-cola okay or would you even drink it okay yeah think about it that way okay i know like that's a different analogy but um uh, shouldn't it doesn't really apply here but because these wokies are going ahead and making these analogies we gotta go ahead and make these other uh kind of uh, analogies that obviously yeah bro like it, it's crazy man like and false advertising it's pathetic but now we move on to the next stage basically saying well even if this did happen it's not a big deal. It's nothing to worry about. So here's an example of that coming from an artist from the gaming industry, someone who is consistently talking about Mark Earn, and they're doing so here with screenshots of his petition that is going around. And he says this, Oh my God, oh my please, God, I can't please. laugh anymore. My sides, my effing sides. Does this guy have kids, a family? Is there anything that feeds his soul in any way? I don't know, man. I'm so fascinating. He's trying to say I'm so fascinated by this level of sadness. Like, please work on your grammar. But anyways, this guy's trying to say, that Mark Kern is a loser for caring yeah. about these things. Yeah. You know, it's not very shocking that Mark Kern, a longtime member of the gaming industry and someone who is very passionate about this stuff, would care about censorship in the industry. But he's somehow a loser for calling this stuff out. Yeah. But you're not a loser for tweeting about this guy daily. You look at this guy's account, every single day there's a round of tweets containing oh, screenshots irony. of Mark Kern's tweets and he's complaining about him. It's every single day. 
there's absolutely no self-awareness. And also keep in mind, this is the same guy who, when confronted about the fact that Eastern character designs are typically more attractive than Western character designs and asked... He's right, you know, you wrote all that and there's no Eastern devs that do this bumbo clock. How is this happening? He responded with this. Yeah, we can go to the fetishization of plastic, reductive, and hypersexualization of pixels after I'm done cleaning my bathroom. Y you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, I, I think this man deserves this type of game right now. Yeah, I, I think Abizilla. Yeah, Abizilla for president. Guys, this is this is what happened recently. You're gonna hear the dev response as well. And you're gonna see everything that was censored in the game and then you're gonna see there's another clip in this one which i don't want to tease or i guess this is a tease for it check this out on the left this video is on my second channel guys second channel yay check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there